and Angie during happier times. Right now, their six children remain in Angie's custody until October 20th, when the situation will be reevaluated by the Department of Children and Family Services. Dr. Drew, who is not counseling the couple, offers his views on Angie and Brad's divorce drama and the effect it has on their children. What is the course of treatment when you have you know, a couple at such odds that it's gone to the point where it's vicious. This is devastation. Mm -hmm. This is how many lives? Six, seven lives destroyed by what's happening here. <laughs> at minimum, you want to get the parents not using the kids as objects of uh, war, which unfortunately, it looks like that's exactly what's happening here. How and would you even get all of these people in the same room and able to talk to each other at I, this I don't, point? I don't think you would. I, no. I, I really think that would not be the way to go at this point. You just sort of want to get every person supported and contained and maybe someday get everybody together. What would therapy entail for the children right now? Again, it's hard. It depends on the age of the child, depends on what the child's needs are. I mean, these are kids who already are at risk, right? They came from situations maybe that where they had, we don't know, maybe they had trauma before they were adopted. I mean, these are people who are at high risk for post-traumatic stress reactions. There's going to be tens of millions of dollars spent on this lawsuit. I, I said this years ago, I saw this coming, and I will tell you that that movie they did, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, yeah. where they were assassins trying to kill each other, small potatoes compared to what you're going to see in this oh divorce. They, there's a unregulated aggression here.